Hello everybody, welcome if you're only here. My name is Hanya and thank you so much for joining me for another multi-chrome swatch party. So today I'm focusing on the brand Sheen Cosmetics. I found them on Instagram. They are a UK based brand and they are most well known for their UV liners that a lot of indie brands do. But they also sell some flaky pots and some multi-chrome eyeshadows. They have six multi-chrome eyeshadows to offer on their website and they retail for £12 each. They are cruelty free, vegan and also paraben free too. So out of the six I picked up five because one of them was out of stock and all of the eyeshadows come in their own single components just like this. They do have a magnetic backing and they are loosely kind of put in there so I do think you can get a depotting tool or a spatula into there to get the eyeshadow out and put them into magnetic palettes if if that's what you want to do with these so as i always do in these videos i'm showing you guys these shadows in three different ways artificial lighting natural lighting and also swatched on my eyes i am making a swatch party playlist on my channel so you guys can check out all the other indie brands that i have swatched out if you're interested in these kind of videos but without further ado let's get into some swatching okay you guys i'm exceptionally sorry but my fan is going to be humming in the background the whole time it is boiling here in the UK and I need it to survive or I'll be a puddle of multi-chrome eyeshadow on the floor and you don't want that and I most definitely don't want that. So the first eyeshadow that I'm gonna start with is actually called Idol. So Idol is definitely a green, dirty yellow and pink shift. I think it shows a lot better in natural lighting this shade. So I'm just going to press this on with a pretty stiff flat shader brush, which is what I've been doing the last few days I've been playing with these shades. This is on top of NYX Glitter Glue. I do this so the colours pop even more. These have zero, like zero fallout. So you don't actually need to put NYX Glitter Glue down. They apply pretty damn well without any NYX Glitter Glue. And they're very unmessy. So next up is Sinner, which is a blue, purple, pink shifting eyeshadow. This is what Cinder looks like in artificial lighting. Once again, looks nothing like it does in daylight, which is the beauty of our multi-chrome eyeshadows. Once again, onto NYX Glitter Glue, I'm applying this color, and it's appearing really, really blue when I first put it on. And actually, when I hold up the pan to like dig into a bit more of the product, it appears purple. This has a beautiful shift on it. It's kind of like a mermaid shade, this one. Ooh, could you imagine these two in a look together? Ooh, yeah, definitely. Blue and purple have been some of my favorite colors to mix. so sorry you guys my fan was so loud and i started to apply this and i realized just how loud my fan was but this is the shade showstopper i'll show you it on my finger in artificial lighting 
but as i was saying before i was rudely disrupted by my own fan um this appears really red and like coppery red on camera it's actually got a very strong green shift and it's got a really murky shift that you can probably see on camera here but in natural lighting you will see its true shift it's beautiful it's also a little more textured than the first two that i've applied um so you can see just a tiny bit of fallout here but it's probably because i picked up just a little too much on my brush This next shade is called Fantasy and this is all kinds of green shifting. So you've got lime green, forest green, you've got murky, dirty, swampy greens in there. It's absolutely beautiful, this colour. once again this is going on to some NYX glitter glue I'm actually using the brush that I used the other day when I applied this into like a winged out shape it was just stunning I mean look at this color this I think unexpectedly is my favorite of the bunch and it really really makes green eyes stand out it is just so so delicious this green color I am well impressed with it and I know there are a lot of green lovers out there. I'm not a green lover in particular, but this colour makes me love green. Okay guys then last but not least is the shade glazed and this is another pinky red shade so it kind of flips from pink to purple and then it's got a really strong orange hue in there So for the shade glazed I'm gonna put this actually onto my lid and I've already put a little bit of a bronzy shade in this is the same shade that I use for my blush just to make it a really easy look because I'm gonna wear this makeup for the rest of the day so I'm gonna put some glitter primer down and kind of cut the crease with the glitter primer and then apply this on top with a stiff brush oh the shades just go on so well I, again I've picked up a little too much as a little bit of fallout on the other side but as you can see, the amount I picked up, it just worked for both eyes. <laughs> so pigmented, it's unbelievable. It's just beautiful, these shades are. Again, this one's just a tiny bit more textured than the first two I applied. And I'm going to do a little bit of blending as well, just so it doesn't look so messy. And a little tip for you guys, if you ever get like multi-chrome flakes on your face and when you're using a brush it... So as I was saying, is a little tip for you guys, if you're using a brush and it doesn't get rid of the flakes, just take a bit of washi tape and just very lightly just pat over the area where the flakies are and the washi tape will really easily pick them up without leaving like black streaks which can happen with deep jeweled multi-chromes. So as you guys can see that colour actually blended really well into the orange, it actually faded into like a bronze colour and it's made like a really nice murky smoky effect on the outer corner which is really really nice. I think I'm going to apply a bit of this colour onto the lower lash line as well and to do that I'm just going to take like the tippy tip of my stiff brush and I'm just going to run this slightly across the lower lash line. These colours are really easy to use, they're not hard work at all. 
Okie dokie, and then onto the inner corner, I'm going to apply, by the way, for like my eyeshadow, I've been using the Kilowatt palette from Venti. So the shade in my crease is this one here, and then I'm going to put this shade into my inner corner. Okay guys, so this is the completed look and I've swatched all of the eyeshadows that I've brought from them. I do hope you enjoyed seeing them in different ways, different lighting also. It really does help you guys, I think, to purchase properly because multichromes are so different under artificial lighting than they are in normal sort of under sunlight or natural lighting. It's very, very different. So I always think it's helpful to include those kind of clips. But you guys let me know if you found them helpful. Overall, I am well impressed. For £12 each, these are beautiful eyeshadows. And you might not get all of them, you might just get one of them. If you were to get one of them, in my humble little opinion, Fantasy, the green, that one is just delicious but honestly all of them are so beautiful i did think the pinks were a little similar when i first got them but they all do have their own unique flips and different tones in as well these multi-chromes are very jeweled and very like out there very deep and rich and i can just imagine them on deeper skin tones they are gonna look incredible and on paler people they're gonna look gorgeous too i just think they're so so beautiful i'm so glad that uk based indie brands are starting to branch out and i'm seeing a lot more multi chromes come out of them as i discover more and more brands if you guys know of a uk based indie brand that you want me to review their products on please leave them linked down below or just tag the brand down below and i will go and check them out myself and purchase some products from them I could go on and on about how much I love these multi-chromes but my fan is on a low setting and I am actually starting to sweat myself but just know that I love them, I think they are amazing, I think the price point is really good, they're smooth and a little bit textured as well, the flips are there, they look amazing in natural lighting, really easy to apply, super easy to blend out and if you are looking for a UK based indie brand to try their multi-chromes, I would definitely give them a shot. If you do try them out, let me know down below your thoughts. I hope you find this video informative. Stay safe and enjoy the sunshine, everybody, and I shall catch you in the next one.